Now that you've got your eye on the ideal heyday model, let's talk about how to enjoy the ideal wake surfing wave. Before you start, you'll need four things. A Coast Guard approved life vest, a surf tow rope, meaning one with a small loop handle that won't get caught on anything, a wake surf board, and a spotter, or use the standard convex mirror on your heyday. Next, you'll need to determine which way to pitch the boat with your ballast tanks. This will depend on your dominant foot. If your dominant foot is your left, you ride what is called normal with your left foot forward and you'll load the left or port side ballast and ride on the left side of the boat. If your dominant foot is your right, you ride what's called goofy foot. This means you'll tip the boat right or starboard and ride on the right side with your right foot forward. Then set the boat speed to between 10 and 11 miles per hour so you create a nice wall of solid clean water. Some call it the green water, as it takes on a greenish hue when in a good curl. Just think clean and green. You'll know it when you see it. Once that's dialed in, shut down the engine and have the rider enter the water. The rider should place their heels shoulder width apart on the board, which is floating in front of them with their back foot on the step pad. When the boat starts to pull you, don't fight it. The board should pop up and stick to your feet. Distribute your weight in the center of the board with even pressure on both feet. Bend your knees and stand up. Keep the handle at hip height and your arms straight. This keeps the force of the boat's pull in the center of your body so you don't get pulled over. Look at the boat, not down. And don't worry about throwing the rope if you're just learning. There's a time for that. In fact, once you're up, let the boat pull you if you're just learning. This is a good time to practice carving. Once comfortable, move to the shoulder of the wave. You'll notice that pressure on your front foot accelerates you and pressure on your back foot slows you down. Put simply, your front foot is the gas, your back foot is the brake. Once you're able to navigate to the surf pocket, you'll feel the wave begin to push you and you stop being pulled by the boat. That's when you're in the clean and green. Once you feel slack in the rope for 10 to 15 seconds, you can try throwing the rope. And in the beginning, don't worry about throwing it into the boat. This can be distracting, can make you lose your balance and fall or face plant. Just toss it to the opposite side of the wave where it's out of your way and out of your mind. Then it's all about getting comfortable back there. Do this a few times and you'll be ripping the curl in no time. So now that you know how to enjoy a heyday wake surf wave, start making some of your own. Visit heydaywakeboats.com to locate a dealer near you for more information.